What we're doing is we are taking bone from the field and we are demineralizing, um, dissolving the bone and seeing what exactly is there. The crew goes out and they collect specimens and then immediately they bring them back here to begin molecular analyses on. In order to learn something about bones, as far as maybe how the animal grew or what's preserved, you have to destroy a sample. It's just the way it is. So a bone is in the ground and it is stable or in equilibrium. And the instant we start digging up that bone, all those processes, forces acting on that bone, preserving whatever may be there, stop. And the processes of decay can continue back up again. And the trailer, which is nice, is we have all of our chemicals and all of our equipment necessary to begin demineralizing or dissolving the bone. Before we enter the lab, we always get our clean gear on. So this is where we run our tests on the fossils and where we gather our data that, we are, that we're interested in. When we bring a bone in, we start dissolving it here in the lab. Then we take them to the microscopes and we check on a daily basis what exactly is coming out of these bones. So you leave the things like, um, say, maybe vessels or cells or anything that um, is basically not mineral. When we dissolve the bone, we learn what is preserved that wasn't normally available to the naked eye. We take a bone chunk and we put it into to acid. You can't ever really get that data, that little piece of chunk back, but the amount of data that which you gain is worth that little chunk of bone being, being dissolved and being destroyed. We're getting really cool results here. Can you elaborate on really cool results? I can't. No, <laughs> no I'm sorry, I can't, yeah. Um, just that it's consistent with the, the previous published literature, that's all I can say, yeah, as far as what we're finding and stuff like that.